Hey, what's going on guys? Eunice here and welcome back to another video. And, and, I wanna say, I'm sorry. Yes, I'm sorry. Because I didn't post any video in the Independence Day in the 15th August. Now many of you think that what is wrong if I didn't upload anything in the Independence Day. I don't know about you, but for me, this is the biggest day or biggest festival in the year. And also it is one of these rare festivals that I celebrate truly from bottom of my heart. So yeah, that is really special to me. If you see the last year, I uploaded the Independence Day video in the 22 August rather than 15th August. And on the seven days, I was suffering in a technical problem in my laptop. Straight seven days to edit this video and still, I uploaded that after bypassing that much technical problem but this year I was completely a failure to accomplish this task that I accomplish every year so the reason being is I was pretty sick in this 15th August so I literally couldn't manage to shoot much things but however I waved flag at the top of my roof I also um, took up the flag on the right time on the sunset and I actually shot one vlog clip and some of the b-rolls of the national flag the b-roll is gonna be the intro of this video and what's the vlog clip hey happy independence day to everyone it's indian independence day 15 august and that's amazing i'm feeling so sick but still i'm here jayhin jay bharat on the last year's video I gave a nice speech that influenced my friends and some other people and some days ago when I was watching that video back I was like ah that's me that's my speech I was completely surprised although the last year's production quality was not so good but the speech itself is damn bold and I can remember this year on the Republic Day on the 26th January, I gave an unscripted but yet so powerful speech in my school assembly that influenced my friends, juniors very hardly and very highly. And also, I got so appreciation from the teachers, from the headmaster, from the president of the school. And yeah, that speech was incredible. And guess what? In this video, I gonna share the things I spoke on that speech back six, seven months ago in my school assembly without any script. Let's do that. So first of all, I want to talk about the pandemic that locked down everyone on their doors. It's so frustrating and also it's sometimes very concerning, you know, because many people are really dying for that. It caught the economy of our nation and also as well as the of whole world in a prison of terror. And it proved that terror can come from anything. It can come from a, a, a thing like as small as we cannot see even. It also taught us that the nature as the supreme no one or nothing can be greater or more powerful than that and it also taught us that we human beings have to and should follow the steps that will keep the nature safe and make the planet make the earth a better place so one more thing that we have so many really awesome talented scientists and doctors on this planet home we have complete faith and trust so we common people just have to follow their advices and instructions and hope for the best. Everything will be very, very fine, very, very soon. You know, our generation is so talented. It's so advanced. But the problem with this generation is there's no proper guide. The education system itself sucks. The elders and parents doesn't believe the right way of education rather than being completely dependent on that system. On this education system, we learn 
how to get a job the main motive of education here in india is just to get a job if you are among them who believes this then i should inform you gentlemen that education i repeat education is only for learning something that we didn't know before that's it khatam and after getting education getting into job or getting into anything else completely depends on the person's talent skill knowledge and passion it is a fact that most students here in india just thinks about a good job getting a good job as their life goal but believe me if it continues then our economy as well as the entire nation cannot be developed i'm not saying to not do jobs but no one talks here about the main aspects that boost the economy yes i'm saying about no one is talking about businesses no one is talking about manufacturing no one is talking about the economy the how, how the economy is working and most importantly how revolution happens probably you know these facts but as a quick reminder i want to inform you that these sectors i mentioned just right now are the direct contributor to the economy i'm not saying to leave jobs yes we'll need employees but what i'm saying to everybody is to be a little bit business minded and a little bit innovative anything you can invent just go for it if you can invent a better way to pack a smartphone then just go for it make it right now and sell any company if you have a nice startup idea then what is stopping you just go find some investors and find some programmers and start building it today we are the new generation and we are the future of the country so we have to be creative we have to be innovative so that we can make this nation the next superpower yes it is possible but by the calculation it will happen after 2050 but if we so our unity if i saw our efforts and if we set up some more businesses all over the globe from india then it can be possible near 2030 you know we really have so smart people in this country that is the reason why the whole world want to invest in our country the whole world wants employees from this country just what we need is some more leaders no 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 i'm not talking about politics i'm talking about the educated and smart leaders who will run the businesses and one more thing we need many more indian multinational companies and we influencers have to uh, build audience all over the world like peter mckinnon casey neistat um marcus brownlee and many more and we have to promote indian brands so that they can business all over the globe and can boost the economy and as like that we have to work like a family like a team because we have the largest population in the world after china who is completely uh, disconnected with the rest of the world we can perform much better than any other country in the service sector and for that i will say to everybody of this country to learn new skills anything that you can offer to someone else one thing i spoke in this speech um is about the china so actually china got independence some years after our independence back in this time the situation was kind of same for both countries but see now after nearly 70 years after how the things changed where china gone and where we left for a quick reference guys our gdp is more than 3 trillion dollars and gdp of china is more than 13 trillion dollars and also china is the largest economy in terms of public private partnership or ppp gdp with more than 25 trillion dollars <laughs> and on this case we have less than 12 trillion dollars 
If you wonder for these terms, then I suggest you to see some more videos or simply search on the internet, cause I really don't have time to explain this. But what I have to explain is something that you never thought before. So did you thought any time before that how, how China been that level of their economy and why we left such behind? So the direct answer to this question is education system. India's education system is really bad from the British period and after getting, getting independence it was not developed much. On the other hand, China contributed their more money in developing the education system of the country. And that's why the earlier Chinese students got to participate in the researches, practical events and more practical aspects of the education. The earlier Chinese students been so brilliant and they are running the nation right now. On the other hand, we have really a less percentage of people who are truly educated. Our education system never taught us that how to produce services, how to produce products, how to trade, which China and USA did. And that is why they are they and we are we. That is the reason why we left behind. And that is the reason from which country Aryavatta belongs, still not a super economy or not close to a super economy. So now let's talk about as students or as responsible citizens, what can we do? So, so if you have some kind of business mind or if you have a really amazing business idea, startup idea on your mind, then come on, that is the right time. Start it today. If you are someone who is completely unaware of these things, then I want to inform you that in every person's mind, at least one brilliant idea comes. If you don't want to work on that, if you don't want to be a millionaire, billionaire or you just want a simple life, you just want to be a common people, then it's completely fine. It's your choice. But the idea on your mind should be shared to someone else who can work on your idea and who can turn your idea into reality. And the idea can serve the nation. So please, if you want to be common people and if you have a brilliant idea on your mind, then share that with some brilliant peoples or any business peoples. Now one thing for employees, if you are an employee, then you should work smartly, hardly and uh, accurately so that Indian brands can run, can business all over the world and that can boost your economy. For students, I will say that come join the business environment and participate researches, participate practical events. If you don't have that much money to attend uh, researches, to do researches, then I will suggest you to research anything over the internet like I do. Also, I will suggest to every student to learn different skills and not one, learn many skills. Like if you are a coder, then you can learn graphics designing or if you want to go to um, completely another aspect of your skill gigs then you can improve your skills in let's say gaming the government and teachers should understand the importance of education and the right way to get it without that we cannot reach the billion people one more thing for the government that government should improve the tax system of the country so that the most uh, representative companies of the country should not be in pressure of tax and should not be uh, they give high amount of tax it is stopping them to uh, do business well so the tax system of the country should be improved so that um, every people who are eligible of giving tax that uh, they pay tax and on that way government gets the right amount of, of tax and the big companies should not be in pressure. That is a huge thing that our government have to do and I have complete trust in the government and they 
will accomplish this challenge it's not a challenge but it's a task that's the thing I wanted to share with you guys for now there's a lot more but the video is being so long so I need to stop it here and I will probably make uh, more such videos on this topic if I could if I uh, get good response from this video and with that said thank you for watching the video like share subscribe the channel and press the bell icon and I will catch you guys in the next one till then keep in Binod.